serious. We are in very, very grave danger of having a World War III. And this will be a war. This will be a war of obliteration. This will not be a war with, I say, army tanks going back and forth, shooting at each other. This is the real deal. And we have a man that uh, he, he can't even walk off a stage. He walks off a stage. He finishes his speech. He lo looks, oh, well, he can't find. He has no idea. You know, there's always a stair there, a stair here. You could even walk off the front, jump or something, do something. <laughs> He usually walks to the back into a wall. Yeah, there's a wall there. He walks right into a wall. Can't walk off the stage, can't put two sentences together. And yet he's negotiating with President Xi of China. Who, when I say he's very smart, the press, look at, that's a lot of press back there. That's a lot. So for him to negotiate with President Xi of China is like, my high school football team playing the, let's see, what's a good team nowadays? Philadelphia's good. So, you know, they change a little bit. I used to say New England. I used to say the Patriots. I'd, I'd love to be able to say the Patriots. He's a great guy, great coach, but uh, they have a little hard time. But uh, what's going on with the Patriots, huh? But he is, he's a great, he's a great coach. And, He'll, fig he'll figure it out somehow. He's going to figure it out. When Trump won in 2016, we were told that World War III is going to come. We're going to have all these wars and the end of the United States. Well, that didn't happen. Not a single new war was started. Now we have this old grandpa who was supposed to unite the world and America. And America is back. Russia, Ukraine. Palestine, Israel. Afghanistan. Iraq. Should we keep going? We need Trump back now. When you look at Israel, just know that the same invasion is happening at our southern border, except our dumb old resident ignores it.